Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about file paths in HTML. So uh, we've actually been making use of file paths for the past two tutorials. I just didn't really explain them very well, but this is the video. This is the video where I explain what file paths are and I'm gonna explain some technical terms uh, when we use them. Uh, so uh, jump over to your text editor and you can see that right now, I've got the exact same code as uh, the previous tutorial actually. This is an image that I added. Well, it's not exactly the same. I changed the size uh, and then I added a heading. So if you take a look at this in the browser, uh, that's exactly what shows up. A heading that says homepage and the image of me, right? So uh, below that, you can see I've also made a few notes. Uh, to myself and these are notes that you guys should remember whenever working with your file path. Uh, so by the way, your file path is the name of the image. In previous tutorials, I told you guys just make sure that uh, your image is in the same uh, place as your index file or uh, if the second page you're linking to uh, or that you wanna link to is in the same page or same directory as your index file, uh, everything should be fine and you just copy and paste the name of that file, right? So um, that is fine when everything is in one folder. When everything's not in one folder, you've got to make use of, uh, of some of these rules. Uh, now what I told you in the previous tutorials is spaces are generally not good. Try to avoid using them if you can. Uh, because let's say I renamed this image to have spaces in it. Sometimes this works, other times it does not. It depends on the server and what version of PHP you're running. Uh, but let's, let's just uh, remove these spaces um, and uh, take a look at this in the browser. Okay, right now it seems to be working. But uh, if I'm using PHP or something like that, a lot of the time URLs get encoded. So spaces actually need to be replaced with percent %20. Uh, so again, let's re uh, remove that and place percent %20 in here. Um, and right now you can see it is, it's winter, percent %20, which technically means space. Uh, me, percent %20, which again, technically means space, small. Save this now, come back to the browser, hit refresh. Check, it's still working because uh, that percent %20 represents a space. But generally, try not to use spaces uh, if you don't want to have to deal with using weird characters like this, like the percent %20. Uh, so let me rename this uh, back to how I had it, which was winter-me-small. I'm gonna have to do the same thing in uh, my finder. Okay, so uh, that is just uh, spaces done and talked about. Let's move on to the next point, which uh, is relative file paths versus absolute file paths. Um, so whenever you're linking to something, uh, you could take the absolute URL or you could use something called a relative file URL. Uh, so absolute, the absolute URL uh, of my index file uh, should actually be in the browser. It would be localhost uh, 888 slash um, index.html that would link to this HTML page. That is the absolute URL. Uh, so if I ever wanted to link to this, uh, this file, I could just copy paste that absolute URL, paste it in wherever I needed it to be like that and uh, that is an absolute URL appearing. Uh, that wouldn't work for an image, unfortunately. So let's let's actually grab the images absolute URL, which in this case would be uh, localhost 8888, uh, that backslash, um, and then winter-me-what dash dash, uh, was that? winter-me-small.jpg. Okay, .jpg. Uh, and you can see that that opens up the image in my browser. So that is the absolute URL for our image. If I copy that and uh, paste that over here, save this, um, maybe just go back in the browser to the index file. 
And uh, now you can see my image still shows up even though we've got this long absolute URL over here. So you can make use of absolute URLs if you want to. It's just a little bit of a pain if I move this website from my local host to www.quintonwatt.com. Uh, I then have to go and change all of these uh, URLs to, to match that, quintonwatt.com. Right, so I'd have to go and change uh, all of the URLs everywhere on my site to match the new URL. Um, and so that's why I don't really like using absolute URLs because if you move your site, uh, things break. Then um, let's take a look at what a relative URL or a relative file path is. And that's basically what we've been doing this whole time. Whenever I said um, just type the name of the image, like we have the name of the image over here, uh, we linked to the image with a relative URL. Uh, so uh, let me save this, or let me refresh this in the browser now that it's saved. And you can see the image still works because I'm using uh, a relative URL and it is the correct URL. But relative URLs can get a little bit tricky because what happens if I start placing my image in different places? Uh, right now, my image and my index file are in the same folder, but that's not how we do things in the real world. In the real world, we generally want to organize stuff, right? So let's uh, create a new folder over here, and I'm going to call it images. And this is what we usually do, is we take all of our images and place them in an images folder. Uh, but now if I go back here, you can see the image is no longer here, right? So uh, let me, uh, well... I'm saving it, but I don't actually need to. Come back to the browser, hit refresh, and now the image is not showing up. Uh, that's because the browser is looking for uh, a file called wintermesmall.jpg, but it's looking for that file in the exact same place as our index.html file. And if you look at this, there is no file called wintermesmall here. That, that image is gone. So now we need to tell the browser that the image isn't here anymore. It's actually in a folder called images, right? So to do that, we're gonna make use of this last rule down here, which is uh, file name slash means look in that folder, right? Uh, so to tell the browser to look for this image in the images folder, uh, we're just gonna add the file name, which is images slash, right? And that tells the browser, okay, uh, relative to where this index file is, there should be a folder called images, and it's there. Inside this folder called images, we should have a picture called wintermesmall.jpg, and well, there it is. So let's come back to the browser and hit refresh, and the image is now showing up, right? Uh, so that is uh, relative from uh, the index file, but um, you might not always have this. This might not always be the case. You might, sometimes you might have to go back to the root directory or back one folder. And uh, you can see I've made these two notes over here. Um, a forward slash at the beginning of the file path means go back to the root directory. Uh, and then uh, two periods and a slash means go back one folder. Uh, so let's take an, a look at an example of that. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it pages and I'm going to copy my index file, paste it in the pages folder. Let's, uh, let's name it something like uh, page and then I'm good. Well, uh, page, page one, <laughs> page dash one. Uh, so now I'm going to open this in uh, my text editor. Okay, right now it has the same code as, as my homepage. So let's, uh, let's change this. The, uh, the title of the page can be page one. And I'll get rid of my notes because I have those on the homepage. But I'm still going to use the same image uh, just because I think it's easy to see. Uh, if you want to practice this at home, just practice it with, with an image because it's, it's the easiest thing to check with. Uh, so now um, let's go over to page one by typing the full URL of page one in the URL bar, which in this case 
would be localhost 888 slash pages because it's, uh, it's in this pages directory slash page dash one dot HTML and that'll take me to page one. Right now you can see the image on page one, uh, the code for the image is here, but the image isn't showing up because it's broken, right? Uh, and that is because the uh, file path is incorrect. Right now we're looking for a folder called images within the same directory as page one.html. So if I look at that, page one.html is here. There is no folder called images here, but if I go back one folder, there is a folder called images. So let me tell the browser to go back one folder. And to do that, uh, if I look at my notes over here, that was dot dot slash, right? So dot dot slash goes back one folder. Save that, uh, come back over to the browser and hit refresh. And bam, our image works, right? Because we said go back one folder, then find the images folder, and then you will find your image. So uh, from, from our page one, back one folder, images, and there's the image, so it works. Uh, then there is uh, the other note that I, I have over here, which is going back to the root directory. Uh, so this is something that if you didn't set your website up on MAMP, um, then it's not gonna work. But if you followed me and you used MAMP and um, you now used MAMP to simulate a server environment, um, MAMP then uh, tells the browser that our root directory is this htdocs folder. So htdocs is always going to be our root directory, uh, which means that if I ever wanted to go back to the root directory and look for something, I simply need to have a forward slash, or uh, is that a backslash? I'm not sure which one. <laughs> uh, I just need to have this slash at the beginning of our URL. So that means go back to htdocs. In htdocs, you will find a folder called images, and then you will find um, in that folder called images, the picture. So let's, uh, uh, let me save that and take a look at it in the browser. And as you can see, the image is still working. Uh, so uh, this file path uh, is good as well. And that's because we're going back to the root directory uh, when looking for our image. So I know that this can be confusing, like I know that you're probably wondering like what the heck is all these slashes and dot dot slashes, <laughs> you know, there for, but I, I did kind of explain it, just practice and um, yeah, when you get the hang of it, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll start to understand like, because this is something that you're gonna use everywhere on the web. Uh, whenever you link to a video, whenever you link to an image, whenever you link to an audio file, another CSS file, another page on your website, you're gonna have to make use of a file path, uh, whether it be a relative file path or an absolute file path. And uh, uh, just the more you practice this, the better you'll get. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks, which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description, and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you wanna help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.